the Intelligent Community of the Year is given to a city, region, or town with a strategy and programs in place for creating a digital age economy. The community uses information and communications technology in exemplary ways. These include attracting leading edge businesses, stimulating job creation, nurturing innovation, promoting better government, and establishing social cohesiveness and harmony in the form of a more democratic, collaborative, and sustainable local economy. This year's seven finalists are remarkable in their own right, and the past two days have demonstrated that. By virtue of the fact that they are here, as I've said, they are winners. They are among thousands of communities in the world, and there are many, many, many thousands who wish to become intelligent communities, but only seven of you get invited to New York, the greatest city in the world. You know the process. I'm speaking as a New Yorker there, not as a global citizen. You know the process for getting here. Having said that, let me once again identify the top seven communities for everyone in this room and everyone watching worldwide and ask all their official delegations and anyone representing them at any level, hell, anybody who just really likes these communities, to stand up and be counted. Please stand up. Finalists for the 2007 Intelligent Community of the Year, uh, again in alphabetical order, are Dundee, Gangnam District, Seoul, second top seven nomination, and Seoul, of course, was the Intelligent Community of the Year co-recipient in 2003, Isile Molyneux, second top seven nomination, Ottawa Gatineau, Sunderland, fifth top seven nomination, Tallinn, and Waterloo, uh, second uh, top seven nomination. And uh, you have you have it? And now? Yeah. You sure? You want? Yeah, I'm fine, I'll open it now. Alright. Uh, John does this. This is the one thing he lets me do. Oh yeah, I'll do it. I will I'll do it. I'll do it. Get I'll away. Get you sure? Away. Yeah, it's mine. Alright. You sure? This is what this is what they pay me for. Oh okay. Something's ringing. Oh. Waterloo. Waterloo. Look at him. Is there anybody home watching the shop? <laughs> the whole city here. Forget. Well, as they come up, I'm going to talk about them a little bit. I'm going to start off with some words. Katra, Katra, Zarya, Mesha. That is a, believe it or not, Afghani proverb meaning drop by drop, it becomes a river. It looks like many other small cities or communities in North America or the world. Uh, I don't know if they all hug each other like that, but, the, for, but what lies behind this deceptively simple and welcoming downtown and mix of modern architecture and campuses is a tidal wave of a town. When council member Mark Whaley, the tall gentleman with the blonde hair, was invited to attend our alumni dinner the other evening, he responded to me as you might expect from a man who helped govern as an elected official in the town that invented the Blackberry on his Blackberry. But he didn't just say... Lou, I'll be there. He tapped back that he'd be there and that, quote, I am responding on my Made in Waterloo Blackberry. And I thought about that for a while. And then it occurred to me that this remark, this, this reference, is what makes Waterloo special. They are proud to be from Waterloo. They are, yes, thank you, Mayor. 
I would expect you to say that, by the way. Uh, they are proud, not boastful, right? But genuinely happy to be living where they are because they have created a place in the heart of Canada's technology triangle uh, that is the nirvana of intelligent communities. But more important than that, it's a place where the tradition of barn raising and looking after one another, from the very young to the very old, neighbors and probably even enemies, is at least ensured for a generation. And my guess is long after. Waterloo, this Waterloo, will not be the place of a famous fall because of overreaching or pride. They know they're great. How great? Let me give you a few statistics. Over the past eight years, 10% of all IPOs on the Toronto Stock Exchange have come from Waterloo, Ontario. This from a community of a mere 115,000 people. So there are a few people home yet. That, but that's not a big community for those numbers. That's fewer than the number of uh, people in my Starbucks on a Saturday morning on 66th Street. Uh, publicly held companies uh, in the region generated 26% return over the past 12 years. Waterloo is uh, home to Sybase, Open Text, and of course, famously, Research in Motion, which makes uh, this little guy. Uh, but not the chocolate one, right, Darcy? Its university operates 50 research centers. And then, as I said last night, there is the beneficence of philanthropy, including the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics. And I, I had a chance to spend some time there a couple of years ago. They, they couldn't get me out of the place, even though I, I had no idea what anyone was talking about. And the Center for International Governance uh, Innovation. That's an interesting place, the uh, CIGI. This think tank, which was funded uh, by philanthropy, enshrines innovation for use as the weapon of choice for addressing the challenges of governance in the digital age. Kofi Annan's papers, I believe, uh, will be housed there. Um, it's, it's a place for thinkers and drinkers, actually. It's, it's, yeah, it, it, it's also kind of a think tank nirvana because it was, it was built in an old whiskey factory, right? You go in and I think there's, there's like whiskey barrels. And I, 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 I hope they're full because I may go back. Yes. Um, we know that there is more to modern life and to Waterloo, by the way, than the BlackBerry. Uh, while this device has been as transformative as the uh, steam engine, the web browser, the cotton gin, or the breast implant, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Randy, heart transplant. <laughs> it is, in the end, not the BlackBerry that defines Waterloo. Its, uh, its CEO, uh, uh, Jim Balsilli, told us at this conference in 2004 when I asked him that he, of course, could locate anywhere in the world. He could be in Paris or Silicon Valley or, or New Zealand or, or anywhere, Hawaii. But why would he want to? Waterloo is his home. It's where his children dream of their future, where people wake up each day and give thanks to see the fruits of their hard work and, yes, good fortunes. I also suspect... And I know, I know, I know. It's a place where the intelligent Waterloo Committee, who should be saluted by us all, also wake up and say, hey, we still have a lot of work to do. Well, Your Worship, Mayor Halloran, Councillor Mark Whaley of Ward 5, who I especially acknowledge for your efforts and, and uh, your lobbying. <laughs> Simon Farbrother, CAO. Steve McCartney, Shirley, and, and all the others. You can add to your list of work to be done representing ICF and all of the communities in the world who seek to make their future brighter as another job to be done. So the big job now is representing yourselves as the Intelligent Community of the Year in 2007 in the way that Taipei did it in 2006. I think you're capable of it, and I congratulate you on your achievements. This is really an incredibly proud moment for the city of Waterloo. And there are so many people to recognize and thank. And I want to thank especially the people who are behind me. I came into this view, uh, I've only been a part of this for a very short time, but it's the people behind me who made this happen for the city. And I want to give special recognition to Councilor Mark Whaley, who had a dream several years ago and went for it. And there were times when I'm sure he felt he was going to uh, perhaps, or was frustrated, but he kept with his dream. and that's 
That's what Waterloo is all about, is following dreams, following visions, and creating more, and making our community a better place. We, we all work towards that. That is important for us to have the best community to live in. As a mayor of Waterloo, I can't tell you how proud I am to be standing here accepting this award on behalf of the city of Waterloo and all its citizens and all the people who make us such a great community. I want to thank all the members of the, the original ICF steering team who are still here. All of you at home, everybody in Waterloo steering, does everybody have their Blackberries out right now sending messages around? That's from our hometown. Waterloo is an incredible city and we have a lot to celebrate. But we are also in great standing with six under re other remarkable cities and we share this honor with you as well because none of us could have gotten here without a lot of hard work and energy and the people at home are proud of you and are, are thrilled that you're here as well. I'd sincerely like to thank ICF for creating this opportunity for all of the cities and for making us challenge ourselves and push ourselves to be better and better. Special thanks to Robert Bell, Louis Zaccarella, and John Young. Where are they? Oh, you're here, but we're... Oh, John's there. Okay, and I was looking for Robert. There you are. I mean, I'm still getting... the think tank. Maybe. I will. Yeah, there are secrets in the think tank. We have wonderful things in Waterloo. One is from uh, Grains to Brains, and this was made uh, up by Dr. David Johnson, the president of UW, because Waterloo did start out as a distillery town, and now we are full of brains, so brains to brains. And we also talk about from buttons to bites. We also started out as a factory town with a little button factory, and now we are an incredible, intelligent community. So we're very proud to be here. And I'd like also to ask Councillor Whaley to say something because, again, we're here because of the hard work of, uh, that was spearheaded by Mark and by Simon and by Shirley and by the original ICS Steering Committee. Okay. Well, awesome. thank, you. thank you very much, Mayor. You know, uh, I might take a, l a little of the blame for getting the, the ball rolling, but uh, very little of the credit for where we've come so far. And I appreciate the, uh, our community uh, wrapping itself around this. And now our larger community, our whole region, is cheering us on. And uh, we're, we're delighted to uh, be involved with the ICF because it gives a little city like us a platform to tell our story to the world. And we're most appreciative. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Waterloo, and congratulations. Uh, congratulations to Waterloo and, and, of course, to all the other six this year, but uh, a truly remarkable achievement. And uh, just, you know, as we looked at the statistics, where, uh, where they were very strong, actually, is uh, in a category that was uh, called uh, uh, sustainable leadership. We, we looked at uh, interim levels of, of leadership, uh, near-term leadership, long-term, uh, and then uh, uh, middle-term. And they, were, they rated very long in, in leadership and sustainability. So... Uh, that was a, that's a very good category, and of course this year with the leadership category being the sixth theme, uh, they rated very strongly. And uh, you know, I, I think you just saw some of the collaborative spirit that, that infuses all of these communities, but I think particularly Waterloo. They wanted everybody to talk. I wasn't going to allow it, by the way, but um, uh, they all think of themselves uh, as one. So that's, that's terrific, and uh, we congratulate them. <laughs>